Hey guys, it's Andy, and it's Monday. I don't like October. I actually kind of hate it. Because most of the days, you have no clue what you're going to wear. Because it's like not hot, but it's not cold, and like you don't know what you're going to wear, and it's terrible, and I don't like it. The challenge is to tell an epic story. And you all know that I'm so epically epic at telling epic stories. Here I go. Once upon a time, there was an apple. This apple wasn't just an ordinary apple. No, no. It was a magical apple, and it had special powers. Now, you might be thinking that this apple can turn invisible or it can fly. No, this apple cannot fly or it cannot turn invisible. No, it can eat people's face off. I know it sounds so implausible that an apple can eat people's faces, but, but, but it, it can. So one day, this apple was like, hmm, I'm hungry. And you can't really see its lips because it's an apple and it doesn't have lips. So it's like, hmm, I'm hungry. And uh, you just hear it. You like hear it from, from aloud and whatever. Hmm, I'm hungry. And he goes to visit a schoolyard. Mm -mm, lots of little kids I can snack on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm an apple. So he goes to that schoolyard. And he finds this girl named Mary Jane Blonde. And Mary Jane Blonde was a nice little girl. And she always got hundreds on her spelling test. And she loved to act and sing and dance. And she had curly blonde hair and she is four foot five and a half. And she was skipping rope by herself in at recess time and so the apple waddles up to her nah, nah, i'm hungry i'm hungry i'm hungry and goes up to her and goes because apples aren't supposed to talk so mary jane blonde takes the apple and goes to eat it and then all of a sudden it goes i'm gonna eat you and um and mary jane goes oh no Stay back from me. And and the, the apple goes, what? And, and Mary Jane was like, oh no, this has happened to me one so many times. And you are not eating me, you stupid apple. And he goes, what? Again, because he's so in shock. And uh, Mary Jane goes, goodbye. And smashes the apple onto the ground and skips rope away. The moral of the story is, never talk to apples. Thank you.